why can't we face facts about this? I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. And you know what? I'm not afraid of being called racist, predominantly because I'm not a racist, right? The facts are the facts. And the vast majority of people committing these grooming gang scandals are from Pakistani heritage, South Asian heritage, and the police are too afraid of them to do anything about it. Is that right? Yes, that is right. And this is a story, as you say, it's a story we've seen repeated across the country, sadly, where there have been many instances where there have been grooming gangs of largely Pakistani Muslim heritage, and their targets have been primarily white working class girls and other kinds of girls too. And there have been many instances of the police and local councils being reluctant to investigate or reluctant to talk about these crimes too much because they're worried about being accused of racism. And I think this is one of the great scandals of our time, because ah. essentially what happened is that we elevate political correctness above the safety of working class girls. The authorities in parts of this country are more interested in staying politically yeah. correct and not offending others than they are in protecting working class girls from sexual they, abuse they are. and rape. C can, can, I make a a point on, can, can I make a point on racism here, Brendan, right? Because for me... There is racism involved here, and that racism is against the working class white girls. The only reason that this is being committed against predominantly girls... Now, look, I hope we all have to admit that a lot of these girls, unfortunately, have maybe had a troubled start in life all too often. And yes, OK, maybe they are sometimes drinking in a park at the age of 13 and smoking whatever they're smoking. It doesn't make, them, doesn't make, doesn't make it fine that they're victims. I'm just saying they're looked down upon. Now, let's put it this way, right? These crimes are being committed against them, in my opinion, because people of a certain demographic, in, in the case of the grooming gang scandals, are looking at these girls and they see them as a lower class. And that's racism, not the other way around. What do you think? Yeah, they see these girls as white trash. That's how they yeah. view them. And, you know, the sad truth is that there are other sections of society, including in the political establishment and the media establishment, who also look at girls like this as white trash you know, the, the going around town, doing things they shouldn't be doing, getting into trouble. What do they expect? I mean, there is a real vile snobbery and elitism towards those kinds of girls. And that's one of the reasons why they could be targeted. And it's one of the reasons why there has been so little sympathy for them in sections of the media. If you cast your mind back to the Me Too scandals, I remember when, uh, you know, middle class Oxbridge educated journalists having a hand oh, on right. their knee, a politician. That was front page news. That was a big story on Newsnight for, for days and days. But then the rape of uh, hundreds of white working class girls doesn't get the same coverage at all. It's really quite poisonous. It's, it's, it's absolutely poisonous. And you know what, Brendan? It does more to whip up racial tensions than anything else. Not tackling the issue is what will cause the racial tensions instead of actually tackling it. If people are out there in Telford... It, well, take your pick, like I've just said before. Throw a dart at the map of the UK and you'll hit a grooming gang, as far as I'm concerned. If you do not deal with it, right, that's when people go, right, well, I'm going to take it into my own hands. As opposed to if the police just went, basically, I'm arresting now 20 blokes who've irrefutably, basically, raped kids. No one can have a problem with that. It's if you don't deal with it that the problem gets bigger, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to increase community tensions because there is a sense now among many people that uh, certain victims are not taken seriously and certain perpetrators are not investigated properly. And it's all on the basis of race. It's all on the basis of cultural sensitivity. So that causes a certain amount of resentment. Now, my view, call me old fashioned, is that the law should be blind. It should be non-discriminatory and it should investigate grooming crimes committed by men of, of Muslim heritage as thoroughly as it would you would hope uh, crimes committed by anyone else and that's Absolutely. how we should approach these issues we need justice for these girls and it hasn't been delivered yet